What is going on YouTube? Kevin here with the next part of my build vlog for this gaming PC that I've been working on for the past, I guess now three hours. I guess I don't think it would have taken that long except for the fact that I've been recording this. Uh, I almost had to eat dinner and some other distractions along the way. Uh, but it's been, I think, net three hours. I started at five o'clock. It is now, sorry, four hours. It is now nine o'clock. Um, so about three and a half hours I've been working on this now. Um, so now I'm going to get on to what I think is the last bit of actually putting the computer physically together, and that is installing uh, the graphics card, which again is a GTX 970, and uh, my boot drive, which is a Samsung 850 Evo. So just to kind of read, um, kind of continue on what we did at the end of the last video, uh, the AB error that I saw on my motherboard was actually a six, and that stood for an error where there were no SATA devices found, which made sense because I hadn't hooked up any type of a hard drive. So that's good, knowing that the motherboard is doing its job with regards to its um, error codes, and hopefully we can fix that by installing this SSD and this graphics card. Uh, so I'm going to cut away from this shot, and I'm going to go into the case shot so I can show you how I installed the SSDs, or the SSD and the... GTX 970. All right, so now we're looking at the inside of the case and I already threaded the power supply cables for the graphics card into um, the case from the power supply itself. Um, what I need to do now is remove the PCIe bracket that corresponds to the graphics card, which since this is a dual slot card, I need to remove two of them. Uh, the 16X PCIe lane starts on the second bracket here. And of course, because it's double, it's a dual width, I need to take out the third one as well. So we're gonna do that, unscrew that, unscrew this, pop out these brackets. And so we're getting ready. Um, now we have to make sure that the uh, little latch here that holds the PCIe uh, card in is pulled back and opened. And we're just gonna take this as it is, uh, line it up with the express lane. It's trickier than I thought it would be, especially since I'm sideways right now. Um, let's see. All right, so that didn't sound right, but it worked. All right. And the latch should close by itself. And I think it did. Um, some dust in the card here, it's weird. Um, so I think the latch closed. Okay, I just pushed it shut. Um, and then I'm gonna put in, put the screws back in. Um, now when you wanna do this, according to Linus, uh, when you screw it in, you wanna lift the cart up first uh, before you put the screw in, or as you're screwing in, you wanna lift it up. That way when you let go of the card, the screw kind of holds it in place instead of having the card droop down, especially if it's a longer card. So the card does kind of flex. I don't really like that, but can't really do much about that um, at this point in the game. So I'm going to replace the second screw. All right, and now we have an installed GTX 970 minus the power cables. Um, so let's see. And apparently it's proving harder than I thought to stick eight pins in eight holes. Why is this not working? Okay, there it is. Okay. So that worked out well. Um, I'm just gonna bend this cable back. I don't know where to put this extra little two piece. It's kind of annoying, but I know it's in the way. I guess I could trim it, but I'd rather not. I guess I'll just tuck it up there. No one can see it, really. Okay, so there's that. Let's try to pull these a little tighter together. Pull them back a little bit. There we go, because cable management and because I want to see the further win part of that. All right, so that does it for the graphics card. Now let's go on to the SSD installation. Now we're going to install the SSD. And so this comes with, this case comes with three drive cages here. There are also two SSD mounts on the back of the case. I'm not gonna show you just because 
take my word for it, they're there. Uh, but this is, at least this comes out and slides out. Uh, to install a 2.5 inch drive, whether or not it's an SSD or mechanical drive, um, you have to remove this one, what they call locking clip, which is just a little bit that's on the side here. And it was on, it's on this side, but it said specifically to remove the one on this side, I guess. So I'm doing that. And then you just take your SSD and put it pretty much smack in the middle of the sled here and then screw it down. So the case did come with a bunch of screws. So you just gotta find four of the right kind, which I have here. Um, and then if I can find the holes, Find the holes on the bottom that match up with the SSD, uh, line them up, and then screw them in and pop it back in. So we're gonna do that, and yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Apparently reading the instructions gives you incorrect results because the instruction manual, at least for the uh, case, that is the Core V31, or V31, says that for 2.5 inch drives, aka SSDs, or I guess laptop hard drives, uh, you're supposed to put the SSD in the center of the sled when actually, since the cutout is more left relative to the whole sled, um, you actually have to move it over. So it would be nice, I guess, if Thermaltake rechecked that, but it's not a big deal. Uh, so this is the SATA power uh, cable that's running from my power supply here. Um, you see it has three different connectors because they figure that most people have uh, up to three drives. And it works out that this case has three hard drive cages here. Uh, and I do intend to have three hard drives um, in this thing once it's finished. Uh, so I will be using all three of these, so it's nice that they had this. Um, so I'm gonna use, be using it like this, kind of. Uh, so I'm just gonna plug the top one into the SSD here, and hopefully that'll plug in. Feels like there's pressure that needs to be applied somewhere. That is going the right way. Okay, wow, that was incredibly um, worrisome. That took way, so much way too much pressure than I thought uh, it needed to. Um, so the next part is the SATA data cable, uh, which came with my motherboard. Now, these are unfortunately both like flat. As you see, there's no 90 degree angle on them, which is really unfortunate. Um, I was kind of hoping that there would be some sort of uh, curve or yeah, angle so that I could plug it in easier, but um, that's not the case. So hold on, let me tuck these power cables in here, the respective cages, there we go. Hopefully that will. Okay, cable management for the win. Um, so let's plug this SATA data cable in. I like saying that, SATA data rhymes. Okay, so that clicked in, and then I'm gonna run it to the bottom of my motherboard tray. Uh, because that's where it is. I'm gonna cut the video here because I'm just plugging in the SATA data cable on the other side onto my motherboard and there's nothing exciting much about that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.